welcome back to another video so in this one what we are going to do is that we are going to redistribute the ospf with bgp and bgp with the ospf so at the end of this lab my intention is to get the 1.1.1 on the outside router and 3.3.3 on to the inside router so let's uh, go to the asa now so if i go back to the inside or if i go to the out asa if i say show route and currently you see that I am able to see one and three routes on the ASA. If I go to the inside, if I say do show IP route, I'm not able to see anything over here. If I go to the outside, if I say do show IP route, <clears throat> and you see that I'm not able to see one here. So first I will redistribute the OSPF. So router <clears throat> BGP1, address family IPv4, redistribute OSPF1, and it should be metric i'm just giving any number as thousands and it should be that's it i think uh redistribute ospf1 metric 1000 and exit so now what i did was on the i have redistributed ospf into the bgp that means i should see OSPF routes in BGP. So if I say that, do show IP routes. And now you can see that I am able to see 1.1. <clears throat> but if I go to the inside, if I say do show IP route, there is no change over here because I did not redistribute BGP into OSPF yet. I've only done what I have only redistributed OSPF into the BGP. So that's why I am able to see that 1.1.1 network over here. So let's uh, redistribute BGP into the OSPF now. So I will say that uh, router OSPF1 redistribute BGP1 with metric, I will use the same 1000 and subnet. Subnet is important, otherwise it will not redistribute properly. So once I issue this command now, if I go to the inside or if I say do show IP route and you see that I do have an external route coming from 3.3.3. .3 .3. Now let's uh, do one thing, fix up protocol ICMP. So I will just do a testing. So if I say that do ping 10 dot, sorry, 3.3.3 .3 with source loop back zero. So basically from the higher security level to the lower security level traffic is allowed, but from the lower security level, it should not be allowed. So if I say do ping 1.1.1 with source loop back zero, you see that it is not allowed because there is no ACL. So you say a brand new topology without any ACL so in this one. So that's the reason it is not able to communicate. Now you will write the ACLs and you will allow the traffic to communicate. So what I will do in this uh, scenario to verify that one is that I want to allow 3.3 .3 to communicate with only 1.1. .1. So I will say that access list 1 permit IP 3.3. .3 255, 255, 255, or I can say that host, host 3.3.3 .3 .3 to host 1.1.1. 1 .1 and I am saying that only I am allowing ICMP. So I will say permit ICMP. Or here I can say equation echo. I think that should be fine. If I say that show access list, so basically I'm allowing this host to communicate with this host. And now I will say that access group one in interface outside. So now if I go back here and if I do a ping now, I'm able to ping now after writing the access list. So this one is the specific access list. So if I say so access list and you should see here the hit count as one. So that was the redistribution and the allowing the outside network to communicate with the inside. And if you see that I have only allowed three and three, three dot three dot three to communicate with one dot one dot one. So if I say that do ping one dot one dot one, you see that still it is not able to ping because it is going to take this hundred dot zero dot zero dot network, which we did not allow in the access list. So that's the reason it will not allow the access. It will only allow the access which is coming from the source 3.3.3. .3 .3. Alright, so I hope this was informative for you and thank you.